showing off is a perfect fitting for the work I do. I'm Pinky, nice to meet you. Hi everyone, this is Silas Ram, AsianCultureVulture.com. How are you doing? I'm delighted you could join me for the chat we're going to be having with the artist Chyla Kamari Singh Berman about her new artwork created on a car for Netflix around the themes reflected in the film The White Tiger, which is on Netflix right now. You may have seen our interviews with Priyanka Chopra Jonas and Adash Gorab, Natalie Barris talking to them. And you may have seen our video with Shyla talking about her Tate Britain Winter Commission, which was mocking up the front of the Tate Britain. And also she had a tuk-tuk, a rickshaw installation, which also had some artwork on it. Now let's go and talk to her about the car she's created for Netflix. I think because I've done vehicles before, you mm. know, my dad's ice cream van and the tuk-tuk, which is in Tate Britain. Yes. I and both of them have got tigers on, uh, tigers, because you know my dad was an ice cream man and yeah. he put a tiger in his van. Right. Tiger of Bengal, uh, because you know my dad lived in from went to Calcutta from Punjab. Right. And, and uh, it all kind of like, kind of like, you know, there was a kind of yeah. uh, 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 um, synthesis, you know, and, uh, and they invited me to, to come on board. Um, and obviously, I was absolutely blown away because uh, I watched the movie, which is out of this world. I've watched it five times, actually. I keep watching it all the time because Salesh, I'm mesmerized by Balram. It's a century of the brown man and the yellow man and God save everybody else. Because he is such a brilliant actor and he's got to win an Oscar because he, all the actors are good, yes. but he stands out. he stands out loads for me. Um, what what is it about Balram? What have you tried to do? How have you tried to represent Balram's character in the artwork and on on the vehicle itself? Well, he's on the he's on the bonnet, right. and on the bonnet he's wearing his Maharaja gear. When you know he 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 brings a present to the hotel room, and um, is is bagger, which is uh, red, and um, so on the bonnet I've I've done a version of him as a tiger. And in the tiger's teeth is Balram's teeth. Right. God. Because, you know, that ongoing um, discussion about him him wishing his dad had taught him how to brush his teeth. And right. so the teeth, I think, quite play, play quite an important part okay. in the whole of the film. Uh, without showing off, it was a perfect fitting for the work I do. Right. Color, montage, handcrafting yeah. to digital. Right. The neons, which you see on the tape facade. So I wanted the this time the the, the tiger yeah. on the roof of the car. Yes, how did that? How that looks fantastic. I mean, how did that? How did you do that? How did it come about? Well, I've got this fantastic book on on. Uh, 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 I mean, I collect images of tigers all the time. Right. I wanted it to look like it was animated and pouncing. Right. On top, like there was kind of some kind of movement. Yeah. And um, and uh, obviously white and black, and I mean, you know, they're rare. And obviously the animals feature loads in the movie. So right. that's why I've put the, the animals on the sides of the of the car. What were the challenges of doing, uh, making up this vehicle and, and uh, um, putting all the kind of impressions of the white tiger in there? What, what was the challenge of that? Well, the only challenge <laughs> Well, I, obviously, I've, I've 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 had an ice cream van before. My dad's ice cream, which yeah. I I bought. So I've covered that in stuff inside out. I've got a duck duck, which is inside of Tate Britain. So when they offered me a car, I just thought, well, it's the third vehicle. Right. So it wasn't like a massive challenge. I guess the challenges were like I had to cover it in acrylics. Had to get a specialist person to do that. Oh really? Wow. So, like you know all smooth on top of the car right. uh, maybe the challenges were like obviously following a narrative mm. you know because i had to follow every single scene in the film which right. i've transferred onto the car what was it that first struck you about the, the film i mean what was your first impression and how has that been conveyed now in the artwork well my first my first impression was that you know our dad you know uh, you know, lived in went to Punjab to Calcutta. I mean, he was he he never went to school. He right. was he, he he was illiterate, and he became an entrepreneur. You know, in a similar kind of way. Uh, 
right. and then in Britain as an entrepreneur sell ice cream right. and right. invite families from 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 Punjab to sell ice cream. Right. So he so in a way he turned lots of other families into becoming entrepreneurs. What what made him get into the ice cream business? Do you do you know? Do you do oh you talk yeah. about that? When... Of course, because he when 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 he was in when he was in Calcutta, he was working for Dunlop, right? As a, as a bespoke tailor, because my dad's our, our cast is a a, a, a tailor, t- tailoring cast. Right, right. And then, and then and then he he was being bossed around by all the all the all the, all, the, all, the, all the Indian bosses, you know, because it was after partition and the English yeah. bosses. So he said to the bosses, "Look, send me somewhere else because I don't like being bossed around." Now my right. dad's a magician. And the and and the English people said, "Look, you've entertained us so much, so we're gonna we're gonna send you to Britain to right. Dunlop speak." Oh. So we went to and speak. He must have ran away, and right. he met the uncle in a pub who was an ice cream seller, and he was Anglo Indian, spoke right. fluent Hindi, and he introduced him to hard ice cream. Right. And then my dad bought his own ice cream van, mm. and uh, and then that's how it all panned out and then he gave a calling to Punjab and says all come over to Liverpool and sell ice cream right. and every Liverpool is in the ice cream trade. Did you read the book? I mean do, do well, you, know, you know the story you know, well? Um, Salesh I hadn't read the book I'm, 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 I'm just finishing the book now. Okay. And, you know, all the colour in the book is you know represented in the movie right. all the animals, the colour, the symbolism, the philosophy behind it the politics behind it, you know, it resonates with my own work, you know, because I've always been interested in the relationship between um, capitalism and injustice, sure. you know, um, poor people, you know, uh, corrupt governments and poor people, yeah. you know, and, and in a way that's reflected vastly in the film. Do you, do you see your father as a kind of white tiger figure by coming to the UK and being in the ice cream van trade and all that, he was really a pioneer in many ways. Well, of course, because he put a tiger on the ice cream van. Yeah, right. How many other ice cream vans in the UK have a tiger on them? <laughs> no, and this is in the 1960s. Amazing, amazing. It's incredible. And you, you that has stayed with you, hasn't it? That, that whole idea and obviously his own personality is kind of represented in your artwork. Uh, both your parents your mum and dad I think would that be yeah. fair yeah 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 totally you know I mean everybody else are putting Batman and Robin yeah. right the tiger and in a way if you think about it in the 60s that was quite advanced to put something around cultural diversity mm-hmm. and it's actually quite brave because there weren't any Indian people in Liverpool then no. you know and, and, and I mean even in Britain this is you know the 60s so I think that I mean, it, it just feels like it was kind of made for me, this project, yeah. you know? So um, what did you make of Priyanka Chopra Jonas? Obviously, it's a big film for her. I mean, she's in a supporting role. Uh, how, how do you um, assess her um, role well, in the th- movie? I think, I think what I like about that is I think, there was, I think the film's full of a lot of style as well. Mm. So I think, you know, she kind of brought, you know, a lot of style to it and a lot of feminist Fe- feminist politics and of course I mean, yeah. the way she challenged um yeah. uh, uh, ashok's dad and ashok's brother is exactly what i would have done i mean right. i don't i don't need to gossip about myself but a lot of feminist friends i know would have done exactly the same like yeah. you know shut up you know we <laughs> you, know, you should not talk to us down like that you know and i i i, I i've experienced that through sure. you know through life yeah. where re- right. other relatives wanted to shut me up mm. not not my mum and dad but the community right. yeah. saying you know you've let her be free and you shouldn't have allowed that why have you allowed it you know she yeah. should have you know all that kind of stuff so she I think I think she really suited that role brilliantly right. and uh, and the, and I think you know to a certain extent I think that Ashok's quite a weak character mm. and um and um yeah. And I think that's uh, been quite apparent, you know, and I think she's like, she's even stood up to him, her own husband. Yeah, indeed, yeah, of course, because uh, he's kind of going off on a bit of a tangent and she, she's trying to kind of bring him back to where he was, I think, at the beginning of the film, but he, he seems to have lost his way somewhat. And that's why in, on the car, 
I've put loose lots of stills from the film because a staff from Netflix sent me a lot of stills. So that was great. So I've used it where he's smoking the joint, you know, in the car. And he said, Baron, don't tell my wife I'm doing this because so he didn't really know, like he was quite wayward, but he didn't quite know how to center himself because he was a bit like everywhere and every any everywhere and anywhere. And how do you think your feminism is represented in the in the in the vehicle the vehicle artwork? Um, I suppose it's because um, I guess you know from the fact that I, I you know I've used the neons in the film right. and I don't know that many women who've used neons in the work. Right. Um, what is it about neon that you're attracted to? Well, you know, I always thought neons was made from glass and I always wanted to make, I always wanted to work in neon. Then when I found out it was made from silicon right. and I thought, in the old bends yeah. and I thought, wow, because I made a barbity out. Uh, no, when the, when, the, when, the, when the fabricator came to my studio, I used barbity in my piece of work I'd made for the Science Museum. And I said, to him, can I turn this into neon? And he says, of course. And I went, what? He right. says, yeah. Made out of silicon. Well, that the, the, well, well, then that was it for me. So you are, yeah. you know, and uh, you know, um, I'm but I mean, you know, I just, I just, I just followed my nose like I do. I right. don't really, well, I didn't plan everything. Also, I wanted to cover gullum gully designs and right. print designs because I wanted to 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 have a feel of you know northern traditional mm. design right in. In the movie, you know, so I wanted to show art particular traditional yeah. designs, right? As well as the, as well as the kind of like building. So ah. I've got the Gunga, you know, because right. but because they talk about the Gunga being dark, so it's yeah. all about light and darkness. darkness. Yeah, the sun and the moon, because right. yeah, is about right. being light and darkness, and we wanted to and the chandeliers because. Bauram does his yoga in front of the chandeliers and the chandeliers are in a shawk and pinky's house. So I wanted to have the bling in it, the bling bling. What it, what it, what's next now for you, for Chyla? Um, oh gosh, um, the Covent Garden Piazza. Right. I mean, that will be... A, a big show in Moscow. A right. big show of my own personal work in the biggest museum that's about to open in Moscow. Fantastic. Uh, Nima and... Um, Oh gosh, it, they're all, everything's coming in really fast now. Thanks so much for your time. All the best. Thank Take care. You. Stay safe.